Hello everyone, I am joined by Lucas Gonzalez Amorcino, who is a rugby player, both in Argentina, he's been in the UK, you've been all over the place. Now, of course, in sort of Australia, South Africa, the UK, I'm familiar with the rugby scene, but I actually didn't realize that in Argentina and South America, rugby is also very popular. So tell me a little bit about how you sort of discovered rugby and your path to becoming a professional rugby player. I started playing rugby when I was uh, four years ago. Um, and after that, I started playing my club in, in Buenos Aires, it's amateur the rugby. So um, you play for the club, and after they call from the first team, Argentina, and after that, you, well, when I was 21, I moved to England. I played in Leicester two years, and after I moved to France, Ireland, around the, all of Europe. And after that, I came back to Argentina because now we have a franchise. We are playing like a, um, four nations, so we play Australia, New Zealand, and South Africa. Yeah, so I wanted to ask you about this, because this, uh, this year is yeah. the first time, right, that Australia and New Zealand have let, there's now there's 16 teams, right? Yeah, now we are playing like the um, um, Super 16, yeah. so most of the players who live in Europe came back to Argentina, we have a franchise in Argentina. The and Jaguars. We start the Jaguars, of course, yes, you know. <laughs> so, now yeah, we are really happy because we, we live home, we are with our family, and we play in Buenos Aires, so for us it's amazing. So tell me a little bit about the experience then of being 21, leaving Argentina and being thrown into the world of, you know, the United Kingdom, France, these places that seem very different, I would imagine. Yeah, I think it was incredible. Uh, I live uh, playing rugby. This is my passion and I travel around the world. It's the best for, uh, for any people. So. Um, I think it's, it's, it's really important for all the, the Argentinian players and um, have the chance to move or to play in Europe because it's another culture. Um, I have a lot of friends uh, in France, in England, so I think the rugby is like a, every people who play rugby, like we have the same code. We say like a, we can drink a beer for anyone in, in a bar or whatever and we can speak the same language. Um, I think there are very special person, people who play rugby, they are like a most passion and I think this is, is, is good for us. They're very tough and yeah. apparently make good poker players. Also we saw Mike Tindell earlier this year at EPT Barcelona who I think was runner up in the shark cage. Now for someone who's not as familiar with rugby, tell me about the experience of now with this uh, Super 16 this new format, being able to also play with the um, Australians, the New Zealand, the South Africans, is does it feel diff outside of being able to stay in yeah, Buenos Aires? Does it feel different? Is it a different style or more difficult? Or yeah, I think it's a different style. It's more fast. Maybe in Europe you play like a more contact, more I know how you say it's like it's different because the weather is different. It's raining most of the year, so it's more hard play there. And here, when we play against Australia, South Africa, New Zealand, you play faster. So for us, it's better. Uh, we play against the best team in the world. Uh, so we improve year by year because when you play with the best, I think you improve faster. So that's it's really important for Argentina. Uh, how I told you, uh, now we, we fly to Australia. We stay in the beach two or three days. After we play there, uh, South Africa is another beautiful place. So I think. We are like, um, it's a really honor for us to play for our country with your friends and have the chance to travel around the world, how is it? It's a good time to be a, a rugby player, I guess. Now, just before I let you go, your face is very nice for someone who plays rugby. Is How come, <laughs> I feel like all the rugby players I meet have yeah, a smash in the face. I know how you say, probably more the props or the forwards have like the nose here at the uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know. And I play a full back or wing, so 
and I'm intelligent, so I know when I need to kick the ball, <laughs> I think that's the most important. Save this guy, save this guy, because we'd like to see a lot more of you at the poker table. Of course, it seems like, you know, competitive uh, professional athletes seem to transition really well into poker, so it's great to see you here. We hope to see a lot more of you. Now that we're here in the Latin American world, let's get to South America. Thank you so much for taking the time. You guys don't click away from us here. And why don't you check out that video with Mike Tindell, also from EPT Barcelona.